Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Arcanum. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today here in the uh, sort of museum. HD Parnells has been holding a few things over here that we have doubted the authenticity of. Well, I just, well, somebody told me in the comments, uh, actually a couple of people told me in the comments that Gar, well, Gar is interesting. Let's have a chat with Gar, see what I can do here. Hey, Gar. Gar. I, Gar, world's smartest orc. You have got question? What is your areas or your area of expertise? I know much things. Gar, tell all. Politics, mathematics, tea. I don't think I've ever asked him about tea, but I'm going to ask him about tea. Yes, Gar like tea. Gar civilized. Gar say Earl Grey best. Made from blend of black teas and oil from the bergamo plant. Excellent, Gar say. Uh, I think I did ask him that, but I didn't ask, didn't say that. So this thing is important to say. I'm not much for black teas. I prefer green tea myself. Hug. Gar no light green tea. Good for foreigner, not gentleman. You were going to say something else, weren't you? Uh, his demeanor... Begins to change, his eyes begin to open fully, but then a look of realization crosses his face and he suddenly regains his old appearance. Yeah, what, what were you saying? You were gonna say? No. Gar say only what Gar means. What else can you tell me about? I know much thing. Yes, Gar. Hug. Gar no light green. T no. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder what is required there. Persuasion? I think it might be. I think it very well might be. We are not very good at that right now. Uh, I mean, we're okay-ish at the moment. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, that might be the reason why I didn't know about that. Um, and yay, the soundtrack is back! Uh, no, it's gone. <laughs> I was doing some selling in between episodes and actually I, I sorted through uh, through my inventory here. I dropped a lot of stuff off, stuff that I'm pretty sure we're not going to need right now. And if we do, we'll be uh, able to um, to find... I also sold some of the weapons that we got, some of the... Uh, some of the, all that stuff. But, uh, I was going to go around here. We talked to this guy already, didn't we? Yeah, last episode we were messing around with this. I say you're the bull that crawled... Yes, yes, hello for a minute, I say. <laughs> um... You see, the folk are very kind. Hmm. They are most gracious. You have my gratitude. What is going on? I'm just... <laughs> what? I'm just making him more friendly towards me. And he's got... Oh, I shouldn't have sold the things I sold. I do have some stuff over here, but... Yeah, I sold a few things. He doesn't need any of these. Oh, well, by the way, I made some healing solves. It's just, it's so many of them. It's so many. We're never going to be short on them. We do have fuel over here, and I will buy that. Is that very expensive? No, it's not. Buy all of it. 30? Wait a minute. How do I tell? That's... Let's buy five. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Expensive. And a goggled helmets. Yeah, the, another trader had that as well. And we have metal casings. But not much. Is that very expensive, that filament? Yeah, because I dropped a bunch of them. And uh, clock parts, I have those already, even though I don't know if I'm, I'm going to need them. A looking glass. There's a few things over here that are really cool. Nitroglycerin, I'm definitely going to need, because those are for explosives, as you might surmise. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's continue exploring. Actually, let's wait until morning, because... There we go. Oh, and the factories don't work uh, in the night. Interesting. Uh, so these guys have no more rumors for us because we have been everywhere and we have over here the Bates factory Let's go in there. And oh, it's locked. Wait a minute. What I say you're the oh, yes um, I can't go into the Bates factory. I thought I could what time is it? Oh Wait a minute. It's because There we go. So now it's eight. No, it's not open yet Can I go in? Huh? Nothing at the moment. Yeah, there's a lot of people opening and closing doors for some reason. I am not really sure why, but they are. Let's explore. Can we go in through the side? Huh. I'm not really sure what we're doing here. We're just exploring at the moment. Uh, I think this might be better. 
for me. I wonder if I can bash the door. I'm pretty sure I can, but what the how? Control? Oh, excuse me, Mr. Guard. Definitely, do you know what I, who I am? Do you want to give me money? No? Okay, I must be going then. Uh, there's nothing over there. There's that thing back there, but I don't think there's anything back here. Okay, the guard is going to stay here. Interesting, he's got a patrol that goes over there. Huh. Well, we're going to need a little bit more training, a little bit more experience until we can reliably open doors. So, I'm, I'm probably just going to... I'm probably just going to... Everything is locked, though. What is this? Bone Alley. Oh, yeah, we needed to come over here. Let's look at our quests. So, um, discover the origins of the strange ring. Yes. I uh, need to go to Peace, Kyler, and Sons. I'm not going there right now before we have uh, can have Magnus. Accepted. Uh, Lloyd Gerlos wants you to obtain some prior ore for him. Yep. I am. I still don't have any. Uh, accepted. First of all, Toon wants to find a way. Yep. Okay. Accepted is just a thing. Uh, wants to help regain her ownership of the Bessie Mine. Uh, Cassandra Pettibone wants you to steal an elven funerary stone. Matthew Jameson's wants you to retrieve his wedding ring from the sewers. Oh, did I do that already? I didn't do that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but all the doors are closed, aren't they? Maybe that one is open now? No. Interesting. Hello, sir. No, he doesn't he doesn't want to give me money. Interesting. And we have more doors. Everything is locked. Why? Shouldn't he be open? This one is not locked. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you? I believe you have the wrong house, sir. Perhaps you'd better leave. Uh, yeah, I'm here for the painting. Am I? The painting? Is it because the... Oh. The painting that was stolen. The half-ogre looks unsure. He stammers. Well, I mean, I thought... Oh, who are you? How do you know about the painting? Uh... Relax, friend. Rory Lime sent me. Yeah, I know who. He looks at the relieved. Right, good then. Rory sent you. Here, take this. And he hands you a key. It's in the back there. Okay, of course. Thank you very much. Hmm. And I'm friendly to him. And we have crates over there that I kind of want to go in and, and steal. And we have a painting. Unfortunately, we might not have enough room to carry it. That's a five. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough room to carry it. It's a five weight width. Uh, okay, the worn shoes I don't think I'm going to need. Sort that the other way. Thank you. So, let's put it right there. Yeah, it's not click. It's hold. Drag and drop. Okay. Kurgan and Persephone. We have that! Fantastic! See you later, dude. Can I talk to you again? Nope. Well, hopefully you don't get into too much trouble. It's not gonna be me fighting you, though. So there we go, we got the painting. That's all good. Let's look at the map. Uh, because... This way... What do we have? Ooh, there's a... A gypsy that can, uh... That can, um... Identify my stuff. Good. Over here, what do we have? East End Avenue. Hey. Hello. Oh. Ooh. He makes uh, headstones, I think, for, for the cemetery and stuff. Uh, okay, so to save right there. Did I save? Did I save? I did. Okay. Uh, happy to make your acquaintance, sir. Uh. Yeah, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Who are you? My name is Joseph. I'm the stone cutter here in Tarant. I make headstones and such. Well, uh, Jared sent me. His girl has died, and he needs a he headstone. Oh, how sad. I... I will be sure to to stop by to speak with him about it. Thank you. Yep, must leave. Okay, that's also really great. I need to go back to Jared. Uh, we need to go that way anyway. And we got an extra point right there. So I'm going to get my persuasion up. Uh, even though I really need other things. But, you know, little by little, little by little. Look at that. We're already like 20%. Actually, is it 20%? It is 20%. Almost 30% of the way to the next level. Hiccups as well. Uh, ooh, what was that noise? That was a weird noise. Factories? Okay, let me see where I am. Is this the main factory? It is. Okay, so we're back. This is the industrial district, so we're back to the, uh, to basically the main thing. Um, apparently we should, there's a mission that we should complete before we talk to Madame Toussaint. So I'm gonna have a little bit of, uh, I also don't know where she is. But I'm gonna have a little bit of, oh, a little bit of exploration to make sure I complete all the missions before I talk to her. What happened to this engine, man? It doesn't look good. Please, don't bother me now. I'm pondering the complexities of my newest project. It's brilliant, if I do say so myself. Good day. Who's he? He doesn't say yet who he is. Got a lantern over there. 
Is the engine working? I got a locked thing back here. What is it that you want of me? I don't want anything, Virgil. I don't want anything. Let's get out of here because it's too, lo too loud and too noisy. Just exploring, really. Uh, we have a lot of orcs on this alley. And including a thief. Okay, let's not mess with him for right now. We can use the peace and quiet. So this over here is uh, Appleby Residence. Or Appleby. Appleby. Right? I don't know. Anyway, paper boy over here. What is the today's news line? If, yep, survivor tells all. Uh, do you want to buy the newspaper? Uh, sure. Let's see. Yeah. Indisputably. Oh, I don't have enough room because I'm a little bit too over encumbered. Ooh, I am really a lot too over encumbered. Let's stop that then. Uh, uh, actually, I can read it from here. There we go. Much better. Read it direct. Oh, I can't. Read it directly from the floor. Can't. Let's see. IFS Zephyr Miracle Survivor. Man walks away from the fiery death. Greetings, fellow Tarantians. It is I, Victor Wright, your faithful and vigilant editor, bringing you an exclusive story that only a paper of this the breath and quality could possibly do. Just yesterday, our humble offices were visited by none other than the sole survivor of the IFS Zephyr blimp tragedy. Please see photograph page two. Oh, and he designed... He deigned no... Sh he deigned to share his account of the final minutes of that fateful voyage with me, which I now share with you. Be warned, this story is not for the faint of heart. Tis a tale so real and frightening that I recommend it only to those with the most iron-like will and constitution. So basically, he's basically praising the readers right now, because, you know, everybody's gonna read, so basically he's just saying, you have an iron-like will and constitution. Upon questioning, the gentleman had this to say about his harrowing experience. There was a tremendous explosion. It shook the entire vessel, I didn't see anything in the in the air, but I heard the sound of gunfire. I also heard engines. I believe there were two different ones. As impossible as it might sound, it seems the Zephyr had been attacked by one other or by not by some other sort of flying craft. Upon landing, the gentleman said that there were there was wreckage also near the blimp, some strange craft. What those craft what those craft were the gentleman was at a loss to say. The fate of the Zephyr was sealed only moments after the attack. I am sorry to say that no one else survived the impact, the gentleman said. He was still visibly shaken from the experience, and I stopped questioning him shortly thereafter. So, dear friends of the city, what are we to make of this? What were those strange craft? Why did they attack such a noble craft as the Zephyr? Uh, Zephyr? Flying bandits? Or something even more dark and insidious? Are we not safe, even in our fair skies? We at the Tarantian will work to bring you the truth of the matter, and I, Victor Wright, will not rest until we have done so. Yeah, he really knows how to tout. Uh, no, that's not what I want. He really knows how to tout his own toot, as it were. So, no, not that. Don't want that. Just don't. Please, thank you. That's what I want. Oh, come on. Get out of there. Oh, he picked up a boots. Give me the boots. Why did you take the boots? Thank you. Thank you. Good. Okay, moving on. Let's go back here because there's things. Oh, there's, of course, the jammed doors and windows. And there's this thing over here. The seven, seven lion's head circle. I think I there was something to do here in lion, lion's head. Oh, it's a circle, so it's like the... Okay, it's not here. Ooh. <gasps> this is the Panari Priest. We're going to get main quest stuff, guys. Let's go. It's very quiet. I think it's on purpose. In the name of Nazaruddin, the Panari welcome you to our temple. How might I help you today, friend? Uh, what can you tell me about the Panari? The Panari church is based on the teachings of Nazaruddin, an elf who lived during the Age of Legends. As head of the Elven Council, Nazaruddin acted as a guide for all of the races until the rise of Aronax and his evil followers. Nazaruddin waged war and Aronax was defeated. The Panari Church was founded some time after that. Uh, may I ask you... Uh, actually, we kind of knew this already. May I ask a few more questions about the Panari? Of course. What is the Age of Legends? The Age of Legends was a time between 1500 and 2000 years ago, a time when magic was a much larger part of the world than it is today, before the mages left for Tula. A time for, of dragons and knights and kingdoms. The time of the Elven Council. Uh, okay, what about the Elven Council? The Elven Council was a group of elves and mages who oversaw the well-being of all the races of Arcanum. 
they were ruled by Nasruddin, a wise and powerful elf who was head of the council for a thousand years. Oh, interesting. Uh, can you tell me more about him? Nasruddin was the benevolent leader of the Elven Council. For a thousand years, he ruled all of Arcanum and brought peace and prosperity to all of the races. His teachings are recorded in the sacred Archeon and are the cornerstone of all Panari beliefs. It sounds to me like he was basically a dictator. That probably, like a pharaoh or something. Some, something like that, because the hundred years there... Oh, no, wait a minute, he was an elf. So elves do leave for a bunch of time. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, where might I find a copy of the Archeon, though? The sacred book of the Na of Nasruddin's teachings? It is housed in the first temple of the Panari in Caladon. You can see it there. Okay, uh, so... Are there any prophecies that Nasruddin will return? Yes, it's called the Prophecy of the Living One. It is written in the Archeon that one day both Nasruddin and Aronax will return to Ar Arcanum and fight the final battle. Uh, isn't he dead, though? Yes, he's been dead for a long time. The literal meaning of the prophecy is unknown. Many believe that they will both be reincarnated or that the prophecy is a metaphor for something more contemporary. The truth is, we just don't know. And who's Aronax? Aronax was an evil elf who came into power during the Age of Legends. He believed that only he and his followers were fit to rule and decreed death to all of the races. Nazardin and his mercy came to our defense and I, quote from the Arcanum, uh, defeat Aronax, banishing him forever to the void. Oh, what do you mean he was banished? We're not quite sure. Banishments no longer happen. We believe that it took powerful magic to do so, and once banished, that person never returned. But the Ar Archeon speaks of it, and so we believe. Uh, has anyone el else ever been banished? Yes, the Archeon speaks of others who suffered the same fate as Aronax. There are four who are listed by name. Gorgoth, Krakatur, Kurgan, and the Bane of Kree. Oh, all these names are familiar to me. I don't like this. <laughs> they were all evil beings, but none were so evil as Aronax. If you ever see the Archeon, you can read more about them. Uh, okay, so I can ask about that. Uh, what is the Arcane and what do you mean banished? No, Arcane, Archeon. Uh, let's see... What more can you tell me about Aronax? Okay, he goes back to that. Okay. Uh, I'm in need of your services. Of course, my friend. What is it you need? Uh, like to be trained in heal? Nope. Uh, I actually... F oh. I'm saying goodbye. I'm glad you stopped in, my friend, he says. Would you like a pamphlet before you go? Sure. Uh, did I... Was I capable of... Here you go. In the name of Nazarene, farewell. Was I capable of carrying it? I don't think so. Hey. Let me see your things. I'm gonna give you my boots. You want those boots so hard? You keep my boots. Let's see what we have. Uh, there it is. Is it? No, it's this one. It's a pamphlet. It looks like a book. Are you confused in this new world of magic and technology? Are you sad about lack of reverence for the old ways? Then the Panari religion is for you! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Based on the teachings of the great elf Nasruddin, the Panari religion offers truth and guidance in this world of quick remedies and soothsayers. But don't believe us! Listen to what others have to say about the Panari and its beliefs. I have never been happier! I even sold my staff of hideous death! From Vermion Doom, former Dark Necromancer. Panari Good, uh, Onga, Turg Skullcrusher, former Ogre Shaman. Those Panari buggers are all right in my book. Proc Hegel, a uh, Hilligman, former half orc bounty hunter. We accept all races, all walks of life. Come and share in the ancient elven wisdom and see how it applies to life today. We're always, always open. Come one, come all. There's no actual disclaimer, so these guys must be, must be good. I mean, if there's no disclaimer, right? It's not like, uh, secondary effects may apply. Please consult your old... And all that. I don't really know how to do that. I don't know the verbiage, and then I wouldn't be able to pronounce it fast enough. Uh, but yeah. No side effects. That's good. That's good. You can become a Panari fanatic from today. For... from twenty nine ninety nine. Actually, there's no sense in this game. So, yeah, it's just from twenty nine. It wouldn't apply, would it? I don't think they would. Oh, got boots over here. Definitely don't need them. Also don't need that. I'll, oh, I'll take the can. Thank you. Uh, cans are good for grenades. Because, of course. Uh, and uh, what time is it? It's 10 a.m. Oh, lovely, lovely time. It is my favorite time of the morning. I wish I could start work at that time, but I can't. Um, that's, actually, that's the time I work the best. Stanton, well, not recording, though. It's the Stanton Importers. 
Uh, these guys don't say anything. Okay. Let's go in. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, this is spooky. This is, uh, not welcoming. I mean, hi. Yes. Uh, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Who are you? The name's Stanton. Uh, like the sign outside says. Importer. What do you need? Oh, I thought you were, like, the, I don't know, the employee. Not Stanton. Anyway, anyway, I hear that you are the man who owns the Bessie tune. Yeah, one of it. Uh, I'm, um... I'm here as a, a representative of the family. He leans forward. As I said, what of it? Can I... I wish I really could repeat what I said. Because I really, I really, I really, I really, I, I, I don't like this. I don't like this guy. I'm probably going to kill him. Let's see. I think you should return ownership of the mine to them. Ha! Huh. Why should I do that? I paid that little weasel good money for his worthless mine. Unless you were planning on making it worth my while. Uh... Perhaps. He says he was forced into giving it to you. Forced? <laughs> That's rich. I, it was always his suggestion. He owed me a bit of money, you see. It was his way of making good. Uh, well, what would you sell it for? Mm, I could let it go for, let's say, 350. That's actually not that much. I'll take it. Ah, it's been a pleasure doing business. Agreed. Thank you. Actually, that's not that much at all. It is a little bit of money, but, you know, nothing too extraordinary. Uh, let's trade over here, and I'm gonna give you boots, and then I know where the boots are, and if you guys would please... It is done. Go away. It is done. Not spread out. What's it the... is done. Stay close. That's the one. Uh, and, uh, we now have... A deed. A deed. There it is. Deed to the Bessie Toon Mine. Can't read it. Can't use it. But we're good. Well, thank you very much for your business. Um kind of wanted to kill you, but then again, this guy didn't attack me, so it would be a little, a little bit, excuse the hiccup, a little bit uh, disproportionate in terms of, of response. This looks like, can I go in? Again? What is it? The Tarantian Water and Power Plant. Oh, it's going to be noisy. Ah, well, let's go on in. Let's have a chat with this guy. This guy doesn't want to give me money. I want a little bit of money from everybody. These guys are very nice looking guards. Oh, and that's, oh, yeah. Hello, can I do anything for you? Yeah, may I ask you a question, sir? Of course, sir. May I help with, uh, what may I help with? Uh, uh, nothing apparently. Just, uh, I'll, I'll see you later. These are just normal guards. Let's go inside. What do we have around here? Oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, yeah. Okay. Huh. These engines seem to be working a little bit differently than the other one that I saw that it was all broken. I wonder if he bought a, a, a broken engine and just, you know, to, to explore and things. A pleasure it is to make your acquaintance. Uh, greetings, sir. May I ask who you are? Yeah, of course. I'm Charles Dunstan, manager of the Tarantian Water and Power Plant. Nice to meet you. Uh, make your acquaintance. Yeah, yours as well, sir. Have you a moment? Certainly. Uh, so what do you do here, Mr. Dunstan? Uh, here at the plant, uh, we re regulate the power usage of the, for the city and make sure that the sewer systems are running correctly. Durant is a, technical, a technically advanced city, sir, and it's a full-time job to keep everything running smoothly. And, of course, there have been the problems as of late with the old suits. Oh, really? What problems are those, Mr. Dunstan? Yeah, well, as you can well imagine, there's never been a more perfect place for vermin and evil creatures than a sewer system. Unfortunately, it's almost impossible to keep those vermin down in the sewer system once they have taken up residence. Uh, there have been some fatalities. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, so you sealed up all the sewers? Nah, just the worst parts. Some of the sewers are still open to the street, although I wouldn't recommend roaming around in those either. Creatures aren't the only thing you'll find down there. Oh, I see. Is there any way I could, you know, get down into the old sewers? No. No one is allowed to go down there except with my permission. And I can tell you right now, no one is getting my permission. That's my final world, uh, word on the matter. There's only one way down there, and you'll have to buy uh, to get by me to use it. Uh, I see. So there's no way to get down there except through here? Now, as I've told you, the best of my knowledge, we sealed up all of the entrances into, into the old sewer of when I deemed it necessary. There might be another way in, but if there is, I don't know about it. Uh, okay. I'm not going to attack him. Uh, let's see. So I can, I can go with that. <clears throat> let's not go with that over there. Okay. Is there any way I can get into the sewers to take a look around? No. Okay, I'll be leaving then. Good day. It's a shame. Why can't I go into the sewers? 
Do I need more? Does he need to like me more? He likes me plenty already. Uh, I'm gonna mess with those guys. I'm so gonna mess with those guys. Let's go around. So, yeah, this is a nice place. It's not too tall, not too, uh, you know, loud or noisy. And it's pretty well noise insulated. Soundtrack, come back. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see what I can do. My nice suit? Is that my nice suit? It's not. Small, heavy wool clothes. That's the one. Okay, good. I, 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 need, I need a proper, proper fitting clothing for me. Or attire. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning to kill some thieves. Or to get killed by a bunch of thieves. Or some thieves. It's always more. When you get killed, it's always more than when you kill. Uh, well, maybe again. I don't know. It's always more. It's, it doesn't matter. Hi. Excuse me. Hi. Hey, what? Is a dirt-loving, dwarving toad think he can just waltz right through our section of town without paying a piper? Caught a fop 25 coins, you bearded dog. Uh... Uh, and if I don't? He steps closer to you men menacingly. Then he'll taste the edge of my blade, dog. Um... Yeah, I'm a bit short at the moment. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I have things that I can use. I have healing solves, although I'm probably gonna die. I'm not careful here. Let's, uh... So I can... Extend my running distance. I think that's a good a good thing. Oh, I can't, actually. Ooh. Ooh, these guys are fast. Okay. They are really fast and really powerful. So we're dead. Yeah, because they, they hit. Oh, they're changing. Oh, no, they... Yeah. My endurance is down. So, did I pass out from, uh, yeah, they have very, po yeah, look at that. They do more fatigue damage than they do health damage. So we can't even kill one of them. Tch. Well, there we go. Anyway, these thieves are going to be killed eventually. Not la not next episode. Definitely not this episode, though. Um, and they're going to be killed eventually when we're a little bit better. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Arcanum. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!